It's the most wonderful time of the year. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I love holidays. Your girl's really raring to decorate for the holidays. Because I, in the real world, do not have unlimited money, I thought what would be better than decorating in The Sims, where I could have unlimited money. Today, we're doing another every room, a different budget challenge, but this time, it's Christmas edition. This is our gorgeous shell of a house that we will be decorating decorating today. Let's figure out what our first budget is for the exterior. So our max will be 10,000 and our minimum will be 1,000. And let's see what we get. 4,835 it is for the exterior. I feel like we can make this happen. The Christmas aesthetic that gives me heart palpitations lately is one that I've seen a lot on TikTok and it's the little women Christmas aesthetic. To start, I think I'm gonna go with like a brown siding. Something kind of like weathered and cozy. Fantastic. For the fireplace, let's do this. I don't exactly know what they're supposed to look like in the Louisa May Alcott vibes. Kelsey's vibes, they look like that. What kind of foundation? I feel like it would have a wood foundation. Why is it so hard for me to tell this color right now? Am I okay? Are my eyes good? I don't think they're good at all. We're gonna make the windows also brown and then this front door is solid brown. We're gonna try the process, okay? I want to make it more unique than just a very brown house, okay? Promise. There will be some personality, okay? There will be some pizzazz. For the trim, I'm gonna go with like a darker brown color. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with like a dark black kind of color, like a gray black to match the roof because the roof, I think I'm gonna go with like an, a gray. Yeah! Oh my gosh, let me in! Let me in! I want to go to here! Here. For the stairs, I'm gonna go again with like horse ranch, I think. Yeah, perfect. That kind of matched the walls here. Maybe, is this one match more? Yeah. And then the side, I feel like we could just do more of the planking. Perfect. I kind of like the softer brown. I was trying to really stick to my guns on my first decision, but then once I look at a thing, I'm the type of the person that has to look at it, you know? I have to look at it, think about it, and then make a judgment call. I wish I was the type of person that could just make a decision and stick with it, but I am not. I gotta see how it looks and then be like, you know what? I actually like this other thing better. Perfect. We gotta do a little bit of terrain paint. This part's boring. The beauty of imitating this book's house is that they don't have a lot going on around the house beyond trees. I think that looks really good. I wish that this connected to something. We gotta do some trees. We go in pine, baby. Great, okay. Some sort of like little fence vibe could be cute, but just a little one, Not nothing crazy. And then we'll do a mailbox. I hate it. It is what it is, we gotta just let it be. Now we could do maybe some bushes. Perfect, all right. That's kind of all I really wanna do with some of this stuff, so let's get in to the Christmas stuff! I want some lighting outside. I always forget to do lighting. And then later we'll be like, oh, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do some sconces by the front door? This little like electric wall lantern. I don't know why everything keeps falling into the house. Like stop. Again, we're just going with brown, a lot of brown, but I think it's gonna come together. I don't know about you, but this is feeling holly and jolly. There we go. Get some cute little stuff on the windows. A cute little clothesline moment. Is there like one in brown that looks kind of natural? Okay, here we go. Maybe put something like this over here. These little guys. I always think these are cute. Nice, all right. Little wash tub over here. Don't know if it'll make much sense. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I'm running low on things to add. Maybe I can add little doodads. I need to spend money. I have a feeling this issue is not gonna be one that I will have for very long. There you go. It looks like he's drinking from the pond. That's sweet. Like a little log in here. I think that looks pretty nice. 
Okay, exterior is done. We only have three simoleons left, which I am pretty proud of. Let's see how much money we have for the entryway. I hope it's not like a gargantuan amount. I'm gonna lose my marbles. Let's do a low number. Okay, 4,007. Let's begin. That's the perfect lighting here. It's a really simple, cheap flooring. Very busy wallpaper. So I think it's actually kind of perfect for an entryway because I don't have to look at it a ton. Another one of these framed garlands. I just feel the garland is necessary. Can you something like this? Yeah, a little chair. Okay, and then on this, I feel like you could add some like, what is it called? Some garland. That is giving. Honestly, maybe instead of that whole big thing, we put this little guy on here. Make it a little more subtle. Gorgeous. Like a, yep. I feel like candles are the move. That would work. And it's kind of expensive. So there you have it. And then I think we want like a little table maybe. There you go. Looking very fine over here. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna make it kind of a darker frame. Okay, we got 2,000 simoleons more. That can go over here. We can even have an extra little coat rack in this corner. Maybe there's plenty of people that live in this home, so they, we need lots of coats racks. We can have another one of these wall sconces over here on this side. Why do I keep underspending? This is such a weird phenomenon for me. Put that here. I don't know where we'd put this then. I guess we could put this here. Okay, that one's more expensive, I think. Yeah, it's like double the price, so that was good. You know what other thing that I keep forgetting to do that you guys hound me on sometimes is the ceiling. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, we could change the floor, make it more expensive. We've added the ceiling. Honestly, I think I'm done. I cannot possibly think of another thing to put in this room besides like my little idea to put a tree in the corner, which I still think is a really funny idea. But like decorative presents, like people are visiting, they put some of their presents down inside. I guess we could put a decor piece up over this. I just put two garlands right there. We're at 700 simoleons now. At what point is it just too much Christmas decor? I'm folded here. I don't know what I would do with 700 simoleons. So this is gonna be the end of, <laughs> let's check it out. Let's see our little entryway. Maybe if I look inside, I'll see what we're missing here. Probably not though. Okay, let's see. Ooh la la, entryway. It does kind of feel like there could be something right there, but I don't know what it is. Oh, the little ceiling. We got like our Christmas thing. I mean, I think this is a really nice entryway. I think it could be something right there. Look at that, hacks. Boom, baby, 93 civilians, let's go! I did it, I did it. Next up, we're going to go into the living room. I wanna be on the high end, high end. Roll big, roll big. 1,026 simoleons. Is that even gonna pay for the fireplace? I wanted a fireplace in here. I wish I had re-rolled. And then we'll do the ceiling. All right, so those are ceilings and our floors for the living room. I think I'm gonna go with this. It's cheap, it's easy, it's peasy. This is 400 simoleons, this alone. I'm re-rolling, I refuse, sorry Sims. You gotta give me something better than that. 6,012, I'm still gonna maybe do like these walls. I just think it's gonna be cute. I think that's a cute wallpaper for this room. We should do one of the holiday fireplaces. They're just so cute, perfect. Living chair here, I'm gonna go green. Do like a little side table over here. Obviously I'm in such better mood now that I don't have to worry about money. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I know I've disappointed you all. You're all like, you cheated. I'm like, yeah, I did. And I do it again. I like this big old square rug moment here. This is a perfect location for this holiday tree. I'm telling you, we'll do this. Put that over there. Yes. We'll put these on here. I kind of want this holiday garland to kind of also be in this room. This would be so cute next to that. We'll definitely put this in somewhere. Yeah, cute. I feel like this goes here. We'll just put this pretty lady photo up here. Oh, we can't afford it. It's 3,000 simoleons. Bada bing. We need a comfy couch. Perfect. Okay, we have that, and then we can have a little fancy table. I feel like this guy looks good. This green is kind of pretty. I mean, I'm going green hard though. Maybe this one will look better. I think that one looks good. I think we need like another little chair. We only have 7,000 simoleons left. I'm gonna put that chair back. Get a cheaper one. Just get this other one in a different color and we'll just call it a day. We could maybe pop in a bookshelf. I wish we had room for a built-in. That would be so satisfying. I mean, I guess if I moved this over here a little bit, we could move this over. This is the move. This is where it's at. We should have been doing this the whole time. It is dark in here. I just realized I have not put in lighting. 
Okay, I think we're coming together. We're doing it. A little nutcracker somewhere. We're gonna put them here. Maybe make them even smaller. And there we have it. We got 13 simoleons left, which is great. There's like a little starter seedling. Brought it out of the cold. Let's show off my cozy Christmas living space. I feel like we should have had more seating. If you're really having a March sister's Christmas, you're sitting on the floor. Am I right? We've got some bookshelves, our Christmas tree, and all the doors. It's very cozy in here. I'm liking it. Let's generate the budget. I promise I'll do this budget. Let's generate the budget for the dining room. 5,785. Where was that when I was doing the living room? That's what I want to know. We got the dining room. We're going to put the flooring and proofing. I really want to get that little table, the dining table. It's just perfect. And then for chairs, I'm not doing the wallpaper just because I kind of want to get in everything else before I buy the wallpaper. You know what? It's going to be a little off center. I think it's cute. I like it that way. I feel like this little light thing over here, this festival of candles is the perfect centerpiece. Ta-da! That's cute. I love that rug with that green. Who decided to do this and not include green as an option? Although I like this brown now that I'm looking at it. I'm gonna put these on everything because I'm high key obsessed. And then there's that little china cabinet that goes in the corner. Wait, 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 wait. This hutch is there, considering that as an option. Here it is, the little, little hutch. Honestly though, it looks so perfect there that I gotta do it. Perfect. Okay, now we have some money to play around with. We could go crazy with some decor on the wall. We also need to continue our little holiday garland across the top of every threshold, obviously. We need to fix this door color. Don't want that door looking like that. Honestly, kind of want to just put a really expensive painting in here and call it a day. I don't think we need that much more. And I know exactly which painting I'm going to look at. No, I forgot it's 3,000 simoleons. This looks perfect. I know we already used it in this other room, but I, I can use it as different swatches. Totally different vibe. We could put something like this, hanging plant. You know what? We don't have any other lighting in this room. Bring out the expensive wall sconces, baby. Here we go. How do I keep forgetting? I'm just kind of used to the dimness, I suppose, of the rooms. I'm like, that's how it's supposed to be. Get another expensive wall sconce. Put it over here. Now we only have 300 simoleons left. If I took another chair out, maybe I should be doing more chairs. I just don't know if we can really fit around here. I don't know if the Sims will walk around. We can't use that. You know what? If Sims can't work in the space, it's not my job. It's not my fault. I mean, it is, but I don't care. Maybe one of these little breezy things in here. I don't know. Could be kind of cute up here. Why do I keep struggling with spending money? Like I've never, I've never had this in The Sims before. There we go. We put down that wood little thing of a bob. Maybe we'll put it over the doorway here into the kitchen. It's kind of cute. May I introduce you to our adorable dining room? You go through. Okay, we're in the wrong room here. Into the dining room here. We will see the living room. And then this beautiful, cozy dining room. I mean, don't you want to celebrate Christmas in here? I do. On to the next room, which is the kitchen. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Let's generate the kitchens. 1,000. 655. It has to be a challenge, Kelsey. Otherwise, what are you even doing here, you know? Let's add in our ceiling and floor. And then we're gonna have to pick a wallpaper that doesn't feel too expensive. Or we could do just like a wooden paneling. I think that's kind of cute. Or I guess we could do wallpaper again. I know I always use this wallpaper, but that's because it always slaps, okay? It's not my fault. I didn't make the wallpaper beautiful. The Sims team did. I'm gonna go with that one. These ones are the most affordable, but also they look kind of realistic to the time period. I was thinking in this room to do kind of a galley kitchen. The cabinets would go like up and down the sides. Da da da! Oh God, that's all my money. Ha ha ha, so funny, so good. Maybe we'll do more like a galley kitchen like this. Delete one on each end. I think that will make sense. All right, we'll just do it like a little less galley kitchen. We need obviously a refrigerator that's gonna cost so much money. You know what, it's a dingy one. It's Christmas, baby. They got a dingy refrigerator, I don't know. 
I don't like these refrigerators. They look too modern. I feel like this one's perfect, but it's gonna cost me half my money and that's not worth it. Crispex it is, I guess. We need an oven. I feel like we could do an oven here. This is 600 small land. We're gonna have to do the cheap appliances here. This is not how I wanted my Christmas to go. I will tell you that right now, I am not having a holly jolly holiday at all. We need a sink. Put it in a little sink here, I guess. Terrible, absolutely garbage. Maybe it will make me happier if we add my favorite little garland with pine cones. Honestly, it's not really feeling like Christmassy in here. We need more like this kind of holiday garden. You know, maybe like this kind of vibe. Yeah, with the blue, that's perfect. We've got some garland up. I wish these windows were centered, but they're not. God, we only have 100 simoleons left. That's fine, I'm fine. Technically we have everything we would need in here. So it's not the end of the world. I guess, you know what? I'm gonna switch these two. I like those under sinks and then that way we can put like a little, these little guys. Oh, can we even afford one? We can, it's the cheap one, but we can afford it. 41 simoleons, Whew, we're cooking, we're cooking here. I think I'm gonna put just like some cute decor pieces just to liven up the space just a tad bit. So I'm gonna put in these guys here. We don't even have a light in the room. Maybe we don't need these on every way. You know, I think I would rather have lighting in the house. I'm gonna put this guy in just to be easy. I feel like we need more Christmas decor. So maybe that's kind of nice in there. Stacking crates, there you go. One simoleon, that's the best we've done so far. Go off. We're going through our beautiful dining space into our kitchen, our little galley kitchen. And you know what? It's cozy in here. It's not the perfect kitchen that I was hoping for, but it's a kitchen all the same. Now we got the bathroom. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. If they gave me a crazy amount on the bathroom, I'm gonna lose my mind. 1,511. It really heard me and says, okay, bet. You think you can do a cheap bathroom? Prove it. <laughs> 1,511, I think is what it was. I don't wanna go back and look again. It's probably close enough, okay? Let's put in the necessaries first. This is the only bathroom, by the way, in this house. This like bath shower, it's gonna cost so much money, but I feel like it'll be worth it for the cozy bath. Or we could just do a cozy tub. Ooh, cozy tub. Okay, that's significantly cheaper and honestly adorable. That's perfect. And then we need a little sink. Great, okay, yeah, we fit it all in there. So now let's have some fun and add some lighting. I think we could just put one in here, call it a day. We're running out of money though. When in doubt, I've been using this $80 chandelier and it works like a charm. We'll do a little pink bathroom for fun. Isn't that fun? You're like, yeah, that is so fun, Kelsey. And I'm like, thank you, I know. I am the queen of fun when it comes to these bathrooms. I tell you what, little mirror like that. Perfect. Oh God, we only have 37 simoleons now. What about my Christmas? What about my cute little Christmas vibes? What about my, my cute Christmas candles? I wanted a cute, cozy Christmas vibe. I feel like I'm not getting that. I'm just getting whatever Christmas vibe, you know? Oh, I forgot to put holiday crackers on here. That's what I forgot. I feel like there was some money left. Oh God, I'm losing my current money though. I like yield bar of soap as an idea. That one's fine. There it is, yield bar of soap. And, or we could do a plant. Nope, there's not enough money for a plant. A pub thing? Sure, perfect. Is that free? It is free. The memorabilia thingy is free. That's cute, I love that little portrait thing. Here, put that here. That was zero dollars, shock and awe, love it. I guess I'll just leave the $12. I don't have anything else I can put in here that's cheap enough. Well, there we go, that's the end of that one. It's got all the necessary things. Could I have gone cheaper with the tub? Yes, but will I go cheaper with the tub? No. Do I wish there was fluffy towels in here? Obviously, obviously. But, you know, that little Scotty dog really is speaking to me and I, I'm in, I'm all in on the Scotty dog. Okay, that brings us to our last but not least room, the master bedroom. Ooh, if we don't have a good budget, if we don't have a good budget, I will, I will, I can't do this again. Okay, last time we had such a bad budget for the final master bedroom that it really broke my heart and my soul. This time, that's not gonna happen. I'm manifesting lots of money. Perfect amounts of money. 9,922, 9,922, perfect. Okay, we're hopping. I am really impressed that we got to afford uh, ceilings for the whole. <laughs> <laughs> for the whole house. All right, let's pop in some cute, cute, cute wall sconces. I just feel like a wall sconce moment would be just sublime in here. I wish that the lights would be brighter in the room, but it's fine. For the bedroom, what am I leaning? 
boards. We've really gone hard into wallpaper in every room, and I don't think this room's gonna be different. We definitely haven't done a green room, although we've had green as like a through line throughout all the rooms because the greenery. We do something like that. It's like green and blue. I kind of like the bottom wooden bits. It's nice, it's nice. Okay, let's get the bed in so we can put the side tables in. All right, green bed. We could do the plaid red though. If that is not Christmas, I don't know what is. All right, I'm changing, I'm changing vibes. We're going for red-ish on the wallpaper here. So like maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna go red and black. Luckily, it is a tiny, tiny, tiny little little guy of a, of a room, so we're not gonna need to put too, too much in here. Is two of these too much? It's so dark without it, but I do feel like that's too many to have both of them have one, you know? So I guess we'll just have one. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Then in that case, I'm gonna do the garland on the windows instead. We could do a, a clock in here. Although a grandfather clock in your bedroom seems very extreme. I think you could just do a normal clock. Okay, I'm, I'm really struggling to see in here. I'm just gonna put one of these guys. We have a little bit of all of it, okay? We have a little bit of everything. We need probably one of these dressers, something like that over on the side here. Perfect, there is a red one. Why not? We're really going hard into the red and I like it. I kinda like the red. It's opposite of the wall. Is it too much? Maybe. Do I care? No. No, I don't. I'm gonna get some garlands here, pop around. I'm gonna get some of this, these candles to put on, maybe some books. Is that not the coziest little bedside table you've ever seen in your dang life? We're adding drapes in here. There's 6,000 simoleons left. I feel like we could do a really expensive, cozy chair. 700 simoleon chair, sign me up. That one with the stripes, that one's nice, I like that. Blanket. What's a little blinky basket? Found the blanky basket. Maybe like a mug, like we had a little hot chocolate that we brought into the to the room and we forgot to return it. Perfect. I can buy the really expensive painting that I've been wanting to put in every room. This is the room for it. We're gonna spend 3,000 simoleons on a painting. Let's go. I mean, we could also technically buy this another really expensive painting and put it up. I think these ones look pretty good. We'll put that up. Okay, yeah, that was expensive too. Love that for us. Oh, I haven't put any plants anywhere. Got another thousand simoleons to go. When in doubt, put hundred dollar piles of books everywhere. This person loves books. The notebook, that might be a cute addition to this room. So I'm gonna add it to the room. The notebook here, and then the mug will be here, and then the holly will be here, and it will all fit. Oh my God, it did. My manifestation is on point today. 452, we're on the, we're getting to the finish line, bubs. I wonder if I've got a more expensive one of these, if that would be a good swap out. This one, this one has a mirror in it, which is nice. I could do this, this cubby thing, or one of the, this one. We do this and we kind of push this into here. Then we have a beautiful wardrobe, a laganza. Okay, that one is close enough. We hang some clothes. Make them really pretty. Yeah, it looks great. We can put this here, kind of like at the side. Like in case you need extra blankets, grab it there. And then I can put a side table here. Okay, so then we can put in the holiday candles or we could do a really expensive lamp. Part of me thinks the expensive lamp is the move, but part of me thinks that I've gone this far without any lamps. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the lamp. It works. It works. It's fine. Ugh, it bugs me. Ugh, I should have just let it happen. I'm just a simple girl who just wants more Christmas things. Okay, and who doesn't care about spending the last 300 simoleons in this room. Let's check it out, shall we? I believe this room is done. I even spent a crap ton of money on that painting and still didn't do anything. So welcome to the coziest little room ever. Okay, I guess I could honestly put more art on the walls, but it's fine. Oh my God, that's like on fire. There we go, easy fix. Maybe I should put more art on the walls, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. I am so pleased with how this turned out. It's definitely giving the cottage, cozy Christmas vibes that I was dreaming of. Let me know what you like to celebrate this holiday season in the comments below. A big thank you to our Patreon members for suggesting this video. I had them vote on which video they wanted to see this week and they voted this one. So if you're interested in joining in the fun, you can join my Patreon. The link will be as always in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!